when I went to Rwanda for the last summit, and I saw the passion of our young people, the creativity around them, the zeal, the commitment to change our continent. I made an appeal that this summit be held here in Nairobi, and I want to thank President Kagame for having acceded to that request, and I'm therefore very grateful to our CS and his team for not letting us down by putting together a seamless event that has dignified our country. I also want to thank all the young participants and delegates for the way you have conducted yourself here in Nairobi. When this event was being put together, and when our security agents were told that we shall have 20,000 young people, they were telling us that they needed to assemble thousands of policemen to keep peace and security in the event. I told them it is not necessary. These are not just youths, these are the leaders of Africa. And I want to say for the days you have been in Nairobi, not a single incident of bad behavior, of indiscipline has been reported. And you have dignified me because now, when I tell the Inspector General of Police something, he will listen to me. So we are very happy for our young people because you have exhibited great leadership. And we know in this continent that in your hands we are safe. We have tremendous confidence in our young people. In the myriad of problems in the world, we as a continent deliberately choose to put our future and the solutions to our challenges to our young people, the ones assembled here today and the rest of the continent. Today, we gather here to conclude a vibrant and insightful conversation of the very fruitful sixth edition of Youth Connect Africa Summit 2023. We have ignited a flame of innovation, collaboration, and partnership, preparing our continent to a rebirth. It is a proud moment for Africa. Kenya is happy and proud to host this distinguished event of high-spirited, sharp, and focused young minds. We take pride in the outcome of this summit. It is with immense gratitude that we acknowledge the government of Rwanda for pioneering and nurturing this visionary platform. Indeed, since the establishment, Rwanda, through President Paul Kagame, has fostered the spirit of Pan-Africanism, empowering young minds. Kenya, under President William Ruto, pledges to carry forward the torch with unwavering dedication in building upon the legacy you have established. Already, Dr. William Ruto is championing a borderless Africa by, among other things, advocating for a visa-free continent. The theme of this summit Youth Innovating a Borderless African Renaissance therefore resonates deeply with Kenya. This has been a four-day package event whereby we have experienced learning, exchanging, and networking. In short, we have experienced the borderless Africa that we have been championing about. Your Excellency, allow me to read the, the resolutions that include the call to action for our governments and partners for more collaborative efforts and results. Number one, the youth of Africa accept the call and pledge contribution to support their respective governments for advancing development by innovating locally based innovations, solutions, 
with targets to go beyond borders. With the formalized agreement between Youth Connect Africa and AFTA, we expect specific intra-border exemptions for youth-owned products and special, and special incentives to solidify the vision of a borderless business environment. In a nutshell, Your Excellency, I'm expecting that I may be able to trade with a youth from Gambia, with a youth from Ghana, irrespective of I, not considering that I need to consult Amazon for that. Number three, the well-being of the youth of today is the assurance of future stronger societies and economies, hence investing in their sexual, reproductive, and mental health is crucial from an early age. As a youth, we reject all forms of discrimination and political divisions, committing ourselves to fostering peace through open, respectful, and inclusive interactions. In that regard, we request for youth representation in every high-level government decision. We believe in the power of unity, understanding, and collaboration to create a harmonious world for present and future generations. We embrace the One Million Next Level Initiative championed by the Africa Union Commission for facilitating to unite various youth initiatives for greater collective impact. We are conscious of climate change challenges and risks for today and the future, especially when it comes to Africa SIDs, that is the small islands, the small islands development states. With collaboration with respective governments, we take ownership of implementing and raising awareness of strategies that help communities adapt changing environmental conditions and mitigate potential risks. Number seven and the second last one, the establishment of a fund mechanism aimed at fostering the acceleration of youth development and addressing the African youth needs in both soft skills and financial resources. This framework requires collaboration with the private sector and emphasizing commitment free from political and other biases. Lastly, we would like to request governments to emphasize a wider outreach in rural areas and villages to establish platforms for the youth to innovate and contribute to their social economic transformation.